Lucy got us McDonald's this morning and I forgot how much I love their stupid microwaved breakfast burritos. I used to live on those bad boys when I worked there. They're not good for you. Don't eat them, but God, do I love them. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Justy. I promised you a non-lounge fly cute bag collection and it's been quite a while since I agreed, but it's finally happening. I did not lie, I did not leave you hanging. I just needed the actual time to sit down and film and edit this and I did not have that while I was busy at work, but currently I am not busy at work. Pretty excited to make this video. I love talking about my cute bags. I love cute bags in general. It's just become like a thing for me. I definitely don't have as many like non lounge fly novelty cute bag type stuff, but I got a decent amount. I'm, I'm satisfied with it and I'm sure it'll keep growing. I keep buying dumb stuff. I am not including my Lolita bags in this. Not that they are not cute novelty type bags. It's just that I intend to at the beginning of the next year do a big massive Lolita wardrobe post that I have never done before. I've only ever shown some of my dresses. So I want to include those in that. So they will not be getting the time in the sun today, but it will come. Everybody just hold on and wait. <laughs> All right, I'm stoked and honestly, I wanna get down to sewing my cute little Halloween outfit. So let's get started. I've got like a big pile of them just sitting right here by my table. So I'm just gonna randomly pick one. A good first choice. This is a Danielle Nicole bag who's pretty well known for doing like cutesy Disney bags like this. I bought this off of Box Lunch, either in store while it was on clearance or online on clearance. I don't totally remember. I think maybe in store a very, very long time ago in the States. Could be wrong though. I bought her specifically for my Peter Pan Disney bound that I wore to Dapper Day at Disney. She was perfect for it and it's such a cute bag. I love that she's sitting there giggling. I love how sparkly it is. She doesn't lose too many sparkles as well, which is nice, um, even after all this time. She is extremely tiny. Not the best bag for Disneyland, considering I carry around a lot of stuff and I end up buying a lot of stuff. I was worried about the aesthetic, not so much what she could hold. <laughs> so no regrets. Super, super cute. Love this bag. I am including totes because I do use them as bags and I have some very cool printed ones, so I refuse to exclude them. This is world's best babysitter Steve Harrington tote that Steph brought me back from San Diego Comic-Con one year. Can't remember exactly what year, but um, I love him. And I also love just the effort she put in to get me Steve Harrington stuff, knowing that's what I would want, especially obviously stuff that I can't get outside of San Diego Comic-Con. So he is very cool. It's a very sturdy tote bag too. Like this is a very heavy canvas, I guess is a good way to describe it. I don't know. Um, but I can fit a lot in here. I use this at conventions to carry some of my um, art books that I get commissions in and as well just when I am feeling extra Steve Harrington-y, which is a lot of the time, to be honest. <laughs> we have another Tinkerbell. Is that a surprising amount of Tinkerbell stuff considering she's not my favorite out of the movie, but you know, whatever. I will do whatever I can to get anything from Peter Pan. <laughs> this is like one of the first bags and like I would say expensive at the time things that I purchased for myself this is back when I was very very young like I don't even think even had a job young and Metro Town was the only place that had a Disney store and it was when one very specific spot in the mall that I vividly remember and it was so beautiful um, anyways, that store shut down as I got older and it was really, really depressing. And then Disney came back and it was in Metro Town and we had it in a bunch of other places too. And now it's gone again. Why do you keep doing this to me, Disney? Anyways, this is not about the store. This is about the bag. So I found this. It's this really cute Tinkerbell with like sketches of like, there's a hook back here. There's Peter up in the corner. There's like other sketch images behind her, um, which is very, very cute. It's a big side bag and considering I've had this for, I'm gonna say like at least half my life probably, she's held up really well. She's a sturdy little thing. There's a few loose threads and it's a little bent in the straps, but other than that, like she's great. Tons of space in here. 
not much else to say about it. It's um, just a very basic bag, but it holds great memories as like one of the first big Disney things I bought for myself, which is, I don't know, it's really cute. Would you look at this little thing? My grandmother made this for me. And it is so cute, this little bag. And it's like got sewing stuff on it. So it's like the needles and pin cafe. And we've got the thread shop and all the houses are super cute. And it just seems like a nice little town to live in. So she created this for me. She's so friggin' talented. She's actually how I got started cosplaying. I originally went to her house to create things and she taught me a bunch of things. And I remember when she gave this to me, she's like, oh, it's okay, but it's not really your style. And I was like, drama. One, yes it is, I'm kitschy and weird. Two, even if it wasn't, the amount of love that went into this bag, of course I'm gonna use it. It like opens right up to a huge little thing. Like I could put my whole life or like my head, I guess, in this bag. She really knows that I, uh, I like to shop. And even made me like a little pocket for my special stuff. Oh, oh my God. So I adore this bag. It's honestly, even though not Disney or anything, it's one of my favorites because she's special to me and this bag is special to me. And it's so cute. And who else has this bag? Nobody, just me. I have a waffle. This is obviously, well, maybe not obviously unless you know the show. It's meant to be like a Stranger Things. Um, theme bag, Diego waffles. It's not like officially licensed or anything I can see in here, which isn't a big deal. Um, it's from Spirit Halloween. I think I bought it like last year, I'm pretty sure. I've worn it with like a Lolita dress. I went for brunch and I was all dressed up. And so I brought this because waffles and brunch, it's perfect. I am gonna show these two totes at the same time as they're a little collection and were given to me together. These are Frozen 2 totes that Steph brought me back from England. One is Kristoff and Sven, which is of course my favorite for very obvious reasons. But I do also love the Anna and Elsa one. The art is gorgeous. They're very cute. I use this one a lot more frequently than this one as you can tell by the tag still being on. Uh, and they're a little less sturdy than like the Steve Harrington uh, tote, these are like a very thin canvasy material or I guess cheesecloth material, I don't know. But they're still, they're sturdy. I've put like a bunch of books in this one. Uh, and they bring me great joy to have frozen stuff, especially frozen stuff with Kristoff because that's such a pain in the butt to get sometimes. So I love these ones. They're so cute. Next we have my Captain America Ida bag, which is a smaller one than my lounge fly Ida bag. I wanted just like a little, I was planning for subtle at first and then I put like stuff like this on it. Um, I believe I got this one off Amazon. I filled it with all of my Steve Rogers pins as well as one little Bucky hugging the shield because I felt that just counted. We have got my light up shield on this side, which you may not be able to see because it's very bright in here, but it does light up. And then my little gushy Captain America face here. Got lots of different pins on there. I would like to track down more. This one is actually way fuller than my Steve Harrington bag, even like, which you're like, well, of course it is, it's smaller. No, like there's also just more pins, which is not surprising for me. But I'd like to get some more, fill it all the way up. It brings me great joy and it's smaller than my other one and not a backpack when I don't feel like carrying a backpack. It's always nice to have some options. So this one is very important to me. This is another bag I've had for quite a while, though not nearly as long as the Tinkerbell bag. This I bought at Disney World with either an uncle or an ex. I think more likely the uncle. I feel like it's been with me that long, but I'm having a hard time totally remembering. This is a, a Vinylmations bag, which is hilarious that I bought this considering I've only ever purchased like two Vinylmations in my entire life. I don't particularly care about them. I'm very weird about mystery box stuff. I hate that I don't know what I'm gonna get, which I know is the whole point, but what if I get stuff I hate? And so I can't do it. But I thought this was cute. I love that it was a bunch of Mickeys as different characters and it was very colorful and aggressive. So I picked it up and you can find a lot of your different of your favorite characters on it if you look at it for a long time. It's got a pouch on this side here, which has a string in it. Oh, interesting. That's Steve Harrington courting. Why is it in here? Whatever. 
goes back in um, and a zip pouch on this side and then a, a big decent amount of space in there which is lime green I have not carried this bag in a very 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 long time I kind of forgot I had it I'm gonna be honest with you but it's fun it's cute it's Disney and it's really really obnoxious which is my personality this one's a lot more basic, but we're gonna do it because it's another one that was made for me, so it's very important. My grandmother also made me this one. It's just a cute little zip bag with a pouch on this side. I love the polka dot pattern and the swirls. This one is a little more toned down than the other one. Um, I guess when I'm feeling more subtle than normal, which is very rare. <laughs> um, but it's really cute. It doesn't fit a lot, much like a lot of my other novelty bags, so no shade to it. Um, but it's fun and I just really love that she makes me cute things once in a while. It makes me so happy. Okay, it's time for the big boys. We're gonna do another pair. Um, you may be looking on your screen and thinking to yourself, Justine, that's the exact same bag twice. And uh, you're kind of not wrong. <laughs> this was my original one that was purchased for me and was given to me for a birthday. They're both from the now defunct, uh, what was it? Oh no, I can't remember the name. Oh, is the tag say? I can't remember the name of the website. It's where I bought my like baseball bats for cosplay and stuff too. Um, Think Geek, oh, it was from Think Geek, yes. So it was bought for me and I loved it. There was not a day that I took this bag off. I wore it everywhere with everything. I didn't care. Um, it's big, it's obnoxious. I was literally known as the girl with this bag. Like when I went into my comic book store for the first time without this bag, they're like, hey, you carry the Captain America bag. And I've been recognized by it. And I used to, it was like, this was my upgrade. I had this soft shell one. This was obviously better. Anyways, uh, I had it for so long that it may be hard to tell, but it was starting to get scratched up and damaged and like the edges were starting to rip off a little bit. And I didn't want him to like totally fall apart while I was still using him. So I recognized I needed another. And my intent was to get rid of this. And then I just couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> um, so now I have two. This is a slightly newer one and I, uh, I haven't worn it as much recently because I'm branching out into other things, but also because now that Think Geek is gone, if it ruins, I cannot get another one. <sighs> and we know how I am about possibly ruining things. Anyways, it's, it's literally the exact same. You got the like torso pattern on the back. I have pouches inside for laptops. You can fit like a ridiculous amount of stuff in this bag and nobody would ever know because it's a big hard shell. You can't tell. So I love these babies. They're very important to me. If I do the uh, Avengers Academy Steve Rogers cosplay that I want to do, which I probably will one day, this is the bag I'll use because I think that's hilarious. Um, yeah, these are my boys and I love them. This is a little drawstring bag with Frozen 2 on it. No Kristoff, but whatever. Um, I got this from Build-A-Bear when I bought my Kristoff bear that I have a vlog about building as Anna. It's very cute. I don't think I've ever actually carried anything in it other than the bear, um, but it's frozen too, so I have a difficult time telling myself to get rid of it. <laughs> and who knows, maybe I will go to the pool one day and I'll put a towel in there. It would be great for that. So the pattern's cute. I love that the frozen is glittery and also I just want it. I just want it. This bag Steph got me for the birthday I just had a couple weeks ago and it's actually really funny. I kept telling her that I wanted to make this um, non-lounge fly novelty bag that I had told people and she's like, yeah, 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 no, you should, you definitely should, but like, you just made your other one. Like, it feels like it's really, really close. And I like, kept being like, yeah, yeah, you're right. And the more I thought, I was like, well, I don't think it was that close. Like, I should check and I kept not checking. Anyways, the reason she kept saying it is this was coming and she wanted to make sure this could be in the video too. So thank you, Steph. <laughs> this is an Anne of Green Gables book purse. Um, I don't talk about it a lot on this channel because it's not like a super pop culture thing, but I have been obsessed with Anne of Green Gables, I think longer than anything else that I talk about on this channel. Disney may have a little bit of a head on it because my parents showed me that a lot as a kid, but I went and saw this as like a musical play when I was a kid and I 
freaking loved it. I can't remember everything about the play. All I vividly remember is the scene where he's trying to, or Matthew, I can't say he, Matthew's trying to buy Anne puff sleeves, a dress with puff sleeves that she wants, and he can't get it out, and it's like a song, and he keeps saying other words, and they keep bringing him stuff that he doesn't really want. Anyways, I've seen like every version of Anne of Green Gables. I rewatch the TV uh, movies that, that's in like two big parts all the time. I did like Anne with an E as well. Um, I could go on and on, but that would take forever. If you would like to ever hear about Anne of Green Gables and my obsession, let me know down below. I'm more than happy to make a video. Anyways, she knows I don't have like almost anything Anne of Green Gables. So she got me this really cute like pastel blue with florals on it. Um, I love the drawing of Anne. I think she's very, very cute. Um, it's got a quote on the back. It hangs like this, obviously, when you wear it with a big brown strap. And then she opens up, she's got a magnet, not a huge amount of space in there, but again, that's part of the course for my cutesy little bags. Um, so I love this bag. I love Anne of Green Gables. Thank you again, Steph. This was such a good birthday gift and not at all something I expected. Nobody buys me Anne of Green Gables stuff. So I'm very excited to get to wear this out. I haven't yet, but I will. This one is a canvasy material, but is not a tote bag. It is a side messenger bag. And this is for the newest Disney DuckTales series. When I worked at Shaw Cable, a TV service provider, there was like this, I can't remember, some sort of competition in which this and a few other items was the prize. And unfortunately, I did not win, even though I deserve the DuckTales bag. Almost like a year later, there's a leader and they still had this bag and I was like, yo, like, wasn't that a prize? Didn't somebody win that? And they're like, yeah, they never claimed it. They didn't actually want DuckTales, which, okay, rude. Um, so it's still sitting here. I was thinking about taking it and I was like, no, that's my bag now. And they're like, well, no, I like it. I'm like, no, that's my bag. So I emptied it out of all the other prizes. I let them keep that, but I took the DuckTales bag. <laughs> so it was just a very basic canvas. I'm gonna tell you, it's nothing special. It's held by Velcro, no pockets or anything, just a big old space in there. But man, do I love that it says DuckTales and I have no regrets about snatching it up. I feel good about it. This is from Hot Topic. I bought it in a big haul video that I did. I've worn it a couple times. It's, it's not bad. It sits a little weird on my back, but that's fine. It's cute though. Me and Anya did wear it to Disney on her very first visit. I still have the pin on my bag from it and we had matching bags, which is really cute. And we did like Incredibles outfits. Would have been cuter if it hadn't been pouring rain and you could actually see our outfits, but you win some, you lose some, I guess. It's good. It's got like a decent amount of space in there, bigger than some of my other ones, um, but it's actually got like several little pocket options, which I think is phenomenal for like a little novelty bag, especially from Hot Topic that has no brand, but it's cute. I love the Incredibles and I have an Incredibles cosplay, so it also works great with that. This I bought from Shop Disney, which was freaking $5 million. Their shipping is ridiculous, which is why I'm still so mad that they also don't have stores here anymore. Oh no, I always struggle to get it open. Oh my God. This is a VHS clutch of Beauty and the Beast. There's a couple other movies they did, but I wanted Beauty and the Beast. I thought it was the cutest. I wish there had been a Peter Pan. The full thing all the way front and back literally looks like a VHS if it's just sitting like this, which is so funny. I um, have been sitting here trying to open it and I can't. <laughs> I cannot remember the secret to opening this bag. Yeah, it's not happening. So you gotta trust me when I say it's an okay amount of space in there. There's a couple different sections. Nothing like too like spacious or anything as expected from a clutch. I don't know what the heck I'd wear this with or wear to because I don't love holding bags. It gets very annoying and also I can't open it. Last tote bag. This was also a gift from Steph and it is an Arthur canvas tote bag, which is just freaking hilarious. When is the last time you saw anything Arthur merch? Almost never. And she got it because obviously we were talking about cosplaying Arthur and I cosplay DW. So there I am right there on the bag. So if I were to ever wear a DW to a convention, I would definitely bring this bag that has a uh, also a lot of space. Tote bags have so much friggin' space in them. You can't have individual pockets, which is annoying, but God, can you get a lot of stuff in this bag? 
This little clutch I picked up in Disney. Steph also has a matching one. We bought it for our Tweedledee and Tweedledum Disney bounds for the same weekend I did Peter Pan. It just opens up to uh, one little section. Almost nothing fits in here, although I, I did really do well that day. I had like sunglasses, I had my phone, I had money, I had some cards. Like, I can make these little things work. It's again, slightly annoying to just like hold something all day, but also because it's so small, it was very easy to stick in the pouches on the ride. So that was nice. Mike Wazowski. This is a gift Steph bought me in Disneyland. It's a little lime green Mike Wazowski side bag. It says Mike W on the back, which I think is so cute. And it has a Sully and a door little like zip card holder that is attached where you can put it on inside. This thing is so cute. I can't believe she like saw it and picked it up for me while we were there and I never even noticed but it's so amazing. I got to wear it with my Lolita for my um, Gish scavenger hunt. I don't consider it a Lolita bag because I would actually also wear it with a lot of other things and it wasn't bought with Lolita in mind. It just happens to also match that Monsters Inc. dress so I will use it if I wear that cord again. This little guy is so cute and I freaking love Mike Wazowski, so love him. This is a T-Rex bag that I bought at Rose City Comic Con Oh God, is it like three years now? Maybe three years ago. He has a little moving hand, which is freaking hilarious. And he's got, it's tucked in right now, a big long chain, so he hangs. The last time I wore this, I was going to the bank to set up an RRSP and I also had a dinosaur sweater on. So I certainly looked the part of an adult. <laughs> he's another one with almost like no space inside, but God is he so cute. So I am not even mad about it. And he's so friggin' sparkly. Are you kidding me? I love him. Our very last item came from last year's birthday. And this is another bag that is designed to look like a book. This is a Peter Pan, which is just amazing. My roommates got this for me for my birthday. It's got the cover of a book on the front and then a quote on the back. You can put a little wrist strap on it so it's a little more of a clutch than a side bag if you would like. And it's got a couple different sections and a zip pouch in here so a decent amount of space. It is perfect for my uh, Peter Pan Lolita dresses. Again, it's not specifically just for Lolita, which is why we're showing it today, but it does work well with those cords should I want it to. And it just brings me so much joy. I didn't know until I started receiving them that I love bags that look like books. It's friggin' amazing. We made it through the list. That is all my non-lounge fly cute novelty bags. Not as many as my lounge fly, but I definitely had more than I expected, I think. <laughs> Let me know which of these bags were your favorite if, and if any of them you were like shocked to see, you didn't think it was something I would own, that's always interesting to find out. And the next time we do a collection video for bags, it will be my Lolita wardrobe bag post, so that'll be exciting. But I do have some lounge fly bags coming in the mail, so maybe I'll do an unboxing. Who knows? We'll see how I feel. Drop a comment if you'd like to see an unboxing of my newest lounge fly bags. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.